Today we will be replacing the full display assembly on the iPhone 6 Plus. This repair will take about 20 to 30 minutes. You will be handling fragile parts, so take your time and be gentle. Required tools, anti-static mat, anti-static wristband, works repair mat, pentalope screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, plastic spudger, plastic opening tool, heat gun, magnetizer, and suction cup. Be sure to use the works repair mat to keep all screws organized. Some screws have the same size but different lengths and can be easily misidentified during reassembly. Wear safety glasses to protect your eyes from any glass shaken free during the repair. Always wear the anti-static wrist strap when repairing a device. This will prevent static charges from being discharged onto the device's logic board, which can cause irreversible damage. Place the works repair mat above your workspace on the anti-static mat. This will prevent accidentally sliding screws around during repair with the device or the anti-static wristband wire. If your display glass is cracked, keep further breakage contained and prevent bodily harm during your repair by taping the glass using packing tape. Remove the two penelope screws holding the display assembly in place. Place the two penelope screws onto their respective locations on the repair mat. Press the suction cup onto the screen just above the home button. Be sure the cup is completely on the screen to get a tight seal. While holding the iPhone in one hand, pull up on the suction cup with your thumb lightly to create an opening between the display assembly and the rear case. While lifting on the suction cup, insert the plastic opening tool between the display assembly bezel and rear case just above the headphone Twist jack. Twist the plastic opening tool using a key turn motion to release the display clips along the left hand side of the display. Remove the plastic opening tool and reinsert on the right hand side of the home button and repeat the same key turn motion. During the next few steps, until you remove the front panel assembly, keep it supported under a 90 degree angle in relation to the rear case. This will prevent damage to the display assembly flex cables. At this point in the repair, it is vital to inspect the device for signs of liquid damage. If any signs of liquid damage are found, the device should not be repaired. Shown here is the only liquid contact indicator in this device. If this indicator is slightly red or pink, the device has liquid damage and should not be repaired. Other signs of liquid damage include rust, corrosion, and oxidation. Remove the Phillips screws, securing the battery flex cable bracket. Remove the battery flex cable bracket. Disconnect the battery flex cable. Disconnecting the battery at this point in the repair will ensure the device is powered off and prevent further issues. Remove the following five Phillips screws securing the front panel assembly cable bracket. Three 1.2 millimeter Phillips screws one 1.7 millimeter Phillips screw, and one 3.1 millimeter Phillips screw. Remember to keep the display assembly under a 90 degree angle in relation to the frame during this process. Remove the front panel assembly cable bracket from the logic board. Make sure these screws are placed onto their respective locations on the works repair mat and not misplaced in the process. Placing these screws into the incorrect location during reassembly may cause irreparable damage to the logic board. Use the flat end of the plastic spudger to disconnect the four front panel assembly cables, the home button cable, the front facing camera and sensor cable, the LCD cable, as well as the digitizer cable. Remove the front panel assembly from the rear case. Before continuing with the rest of the repair process, we will test the new full display assembly. This will ensure three key points. First, you will identify that the replacement part is fully functional prior to full install. Second, replacing the part will resolve the customer's issue. 
Some issues are board related and may not be repairable through part replacement. Third, you will be able to identify if damage was caused during the rest of the repair as at this point the part is fully functional. Connect flex cables of the new full display assembly. Use light pressure when connecting the flex cables. Excessive force can cause damage to the connectors. Connect the battery flex cable. Gently lay down the display assembly on the frame. Power on the device to test. Before testing, we will enable the assistive touch function of the device. This is done by tapping on settings, general, accessibility, and finally assistive touch. Tapping on the assistive touch icon and then home will take us to the home screen of the device. Move the assistive touch control around the entirety of the screen to ensure there are no dead spots in the digitizer. Open the camera app to ensure the front facing camera functions and is free of dirt or debris. Next, open the Voice Memos app to test the proximity sensor and earpiece speaker. When covering the top of the screen while playing back a recording, the display should go dark. Open the Weather, Stocks, and Notes apps to inspect the LCD for lines or discoloration. If any issues are found with the function of the new display assembly, power off the device or disconnect the battery, disconnect the full assembly flex cables, and finally reconnect. Now power on the device. The majority of function issues are due to an improper connection between the flex cable and the logic board. If the issues persist, test a second full assembly. If both parts experience the same issue, the logic board of the device is most likely the cause and the device is not repairable. Disconnect the battery flex cable. Disconnect the display assembly cables. Place the new, tested full assembly to one side. Place the rear frame and logic board to one side. And locate the end user screen. Remove the two 1.9mm Phillips screws securing the home button bracket. Remove the home button bracket from the front panel. Use the flat end of the plastic spudger to disconnect the home button cable connector by inserting above connection and turning away from the home button. We will be applying low level heat to the bottom end glass side of display. This will aid in releasing the adhesive holding the home button in place. Using the heat gun will reduce damage caused by using excessive force to remove the home button flex cable. Damaging the home button cable will permanently disable the Touch ID function of the device. Use the flat end of the plastic spudger to carefully release the flex cable portion of the home button. Press the home button from the glass side of the display assembly to release the button portion from the screen. If the home button does not completely release, the flat end of the plastic spudger may aid in removal of the home button. Place the broken end user screen to one side. Do not forget to remove the LCD shield plate plastic protector. Insert the home button into the new full assembly. Use the tip of your finger to gently connect the home button cable. Insert the home button bracket into the full assembly. Insert the two Phillips screws securing the home button bracket. Press the home button to ensure that it clicks properly. Connect the four full assembly display cables. The digitizer cable, the LCD cable, the front facing camera and sensor cable, and the home button cable. 
reinsert the front panel assembly cable bracket to the logic board. Insert the five Phillips screws securing the front panel assembly cable bracket. As a reminder, misplacing screws at this point in the repair process can cause irreparable board level damage. Remember to keep the display assembly under a 90 degree angle in relation to the frame during this process. Connect the battery flex cable. Insert the battery flex cable bracket. Insert the two Phillips screws securing the battery flex cable bracket. Holding the LCD at a 20 degree angle, secure the assembly into place by sliding in the hooks on the top. Run your fingers along the sides. Be sure that the assembly slips evenly into the frame. Insert the two pentalobe screws securing the display assembly. Power on the device and test all functions to ensure they are working properly before notifying the customer of repair completion. All testing must be documented on the mobile repair checklist. Hold the home and power button until you see the Apple logo performing a soft reset. If you experience any issues while testing your device, some troubleshooting tips are Disconnect and reconnect the battery. Check the connection of the part showing issue. And finally, cross test by using a different part. Power off the device. your works repair mat for any remaining screws or internal pieces. Remember to place the end user screen from this repair into the packing of the new display assembly used. Mark the box labeled end user to indicate as a screen for a cycle. If you have questions related to this repair, please contact Works for assistance.